Hi guys, welcome to the construction of a centroid. Um, this is going to involve bisecting lines again, so make sure you revise that. And one of the things to keep in mind here is that this is pretty similar to the circumcenter up until about halfway through, so just watch out for that. And let's get started. Okay, so here's our finished centroid. And as you can see, our lines are nicely bisected. Um, but one thing I will say about this is that the first half of the method in which we're bisecting lines is very similar to finding the circumcenter but then the method is going to change halfway through, so let's see how that works. Okay, so our first step is to bisect any two sides of this triangle. So I'm just going to bisect, first of all, the side XZ. So we're going to set our compass then to be more than a half of this line and create a nice arc, which will meet our other arc from Z. So those overlap nicely there. And that's our first side bisected. And then to bisect the side YZ, uh, we're going to just make sure again our compass is long enough to exceed half the side length and swing another arc, first of all from the vertice Z, and then again from Y. Okay, so our next step here is just gonna be to grab our pencil and our ruler, and then connect these two intersections that we've created with our arcs for each side. So here's our first bisector of this line. And then again, for the side YZ, we're gonna do the same thing. So we connect these two intersects to find our bisectors and make sure that these are nice and long so the examiner can see that you've done this properly. And this is actually where the method uh, diverges from finding the circumcenter. So with these two points, what we're actually gonna do is just join the middle point of the line to the far vertice. So normally with the circumcenter, you would be looking for the crossing point of the bisectors themselves. But in this case, we're looking for the crossing point of what happens when we join the middle point of each line to the far vertice opposite it. So you can see here in yellow what I mean just join in each middle point of the line to the far vertice, so like this. And where these two yellow lines cross is our centroid, so this point in here. And that is it for this construction, I'll see you next time.